this is how this is how packing is going. Once it is down, two more to go. Actually, two. Unfortunately, when I got to the airport that night, I found out that Guyana had an embargo, so I had to end up sending back some of my luggage. So as you can imagine, I was definitely disappointed that I couldn't bring everything that I had packed in my suitcase. Um, but nevertheless, I was going home, so I was excited. Clearing immigration was pretty easy, very different from what I had uh, experienced when I visited home in 2016 or 17, I think. Uh, but all in all, it was very smooth. So I can definitely say I've seen some improvements there. The airport looked pretty different as compared to what I remember when I left Guyana. And I was really happy about the hassle-free uh, clearing from immigration as well as customs. I hadn't seen my family in almost six years, so it was very surreal. But at the same time, I spoke to them every day on the phone. And even though I was not physically there, my nephews, who I didn't spend any time with, apart from virtually, um, nothing felt strange, nothing felt different. It was an amazing experience just, you know, building a relationship with them virtually and it paid off in the end. A flight for two weeks to Guyana after not being home in so many years it's definitely the wrong thing to do <laughs> my original plan was to spend a month in Guyana so that I can explore and just do the things that I didn't get to do in a while but time was against me within those two weeks and I hardly got to do much I did, however, got to see some of my cousins, some of my really close friends, go to the Christmas village. It was beautiful. I enjoyed it and I wouldn't have done it differently. I definitely would have wanted to see more of my cousins and my family and also my friends that I couldn't meet up with. Um, aside from my travel plans being cut short by work, um, there was also the concern of COVID-19 so I had to be really careful as to you know the things that I wanted to do um, the most important thing was spending time with my family while I was there and I got to do just that and I am super grateful for my trip to Guyana super grateful for the time everyone took out of their busy schedules to accommodate some parts of my trip and you know, I really, really had a great time despite it being only two weeks.
I trust that this video is as nostalgic for you as it is for me. And remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Until next time, Guyana.